Welcome back. You're still watching Eva is the entertainment show on Signature TV. Yes. Happy birthday to all the celebrities that today is their birthday. And of course, I have a very interesting guest for you. She's one of a kind. She's not a musician, an actor, or anything like that. But this is a young lady that picked a different kind of career. She's um, an animator. She makes animations, cartoons, and all that. Though she just started. But we'll be having this interesting interview with her so that she can walk us through all her journey and what actually gave her this uh, this insight to go into this passion so hello joanita hello hi can you hear me sorry is this thing yes i can hear you very well okay hi. so how are you doing i'm all right thank you how are you i'm fine i'm okay so you know i'm i'm interested to know because as a young lady most of us want to venture into business or to work in and in an office as a career woman right so walk us through your journey and why you prefer to do animation instead well i've always i've always had an interest in animation and cartoons since when i was like a young kid and i used to like make videos with my little sister we used to like make all these videos and force our parents to watch them and yeah, so like the interest kind of sparked from like a really young age, let's say like eight, kind of like eight or seven, and I've just been trying to make money off it since I got like older. Yeah. Okay. Um, Juanita, can you please put your phone on la landscape, like put your phone in a rectangular form so we can be able to get a clearer view of you. Alright. Okay. Yeah. I've done that. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Continue. So yeah, so yeah, when I now got older and I decided to like make money off of you know, a lot of people would say you shouldn't make money off of your like passion and stuff. But I found out mm. it was possible. So I just went ahead and tried. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so another interesting question, right? How do you approach creating characters with a district personality? Like I watched some of your videos, which I will still review here okay so how okay. do you come up with those characters how do you create it what's the biggest approach to creating those characters well i usually is what i imagine things i imagine in my head that i now try to like bring to life to animation and 3d character creation i don't really have any way in particular it's just the ideas that come to my head and i just like try to write it down and then bring it to life for time. Okay, so like, what are the most important elements to use? Because of course, I'm not I'm not a tech person. I'm not an animation kind of person. So, what elements do you use to create this kind of animations? Even the fact that they move, they dance, they walk. Because you know, when you watch this animated cartoon, you would wonder how yeah. these people come up with this whole creative idea. The idea mm -hmm. well you could get the idea from like watching okay another thing i do is like watch other people's works and watch other cartoons and like study how they move and like think how can i do this to myself the softwares i use though are blender and, and zbrush so i watch like other people's videos and then i now eventually just like try to bring it to life okay so another question what are some techniques you use to to make the emotions of these um, animations because you could see some animations cry like tears would drop down their eyes <laughs> do you get so mm -hmm. what are the soft could... techniques you use for this particular kind of emotions to make them cry to make them frown i don't know how to put it but i'm sure you understand what i'm saying it's still about studying studying other because when someone cries they cry in a certain way so like if mm -hmm. you study like how the events and how like everything you have to study they say life imitates art or art imitates life i think art imitates life so you have to like study real life things and then you now like okay. look at what you're doing what you're designing and then try to like copy the 
because you can't just design a character that is moving in not a human like way, unless if that's what you want to want a character that's not a human being. But if you want, and then when you're studying it from different angles, then you now like replicate that same thing into your character. It's a lot well, of work and like, it's a lot of hours. Any... Have you found yourself in any form of any any challenging um part whereby you try to create these emotions and it's not coming through? Yes, definitely, definitely. Like there's one video I sent and um, the mm. girl was dancing on the stage. The dancing part, okay, like her her moving, she was like swaying and stuff like that. It was like not and it took a lot of time before I could get this right. So yeah, there's definitely some challenges. There, there, there are challenges all the time. You just have to, like, sometimes what I do is I take a break. Then I come back and, like, reassess what I was doing, like, a fresh set of eyes. So that yeah. helps. Okay. So now, can you tell us um, in what type of way do character movement help advance these animations? Well, yeah, they help advance in like every possible way because a character that is like still, a character that is not moving and you're like capturing mm. it, it's not going to like, it's, there's nothing there, it's just a character. But a character that is moving though, tells a story, mm -hmm. it, like captures your attention, it captures the audience's attention rather than a character that is. So animation is very important to like bring characters to life. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I want to ask, though, there's, there's something I want to ask. You know, music is, according to music artists, they will always be like, uh, I get the inspiration from so-so-so person. This person is my mentor. Who are you looking up to in making these animations? Well, there are some studios, animation studios, that definitely are yeah, up there. I'm, I'm not looking up to any person in particular, but there are some people, though, that their works are like Ryan King. Um, mm -hmm. There's this Nigerian guy, Anthony, but he doesn't do like he doesn't do animation. He just designs the characters and then like stay. So he's really good. So I look up to him as an inspiration. Anthony is sick. Okay. I don't want to say his name wrong, but yeah, I think he has a a or something like that. So I then other game studios, then just watching videos and then seeing things that like are so cool. Mm. I just want to just like it's always interested me and then I also get inspiration from music just like listening to music I just like get some things in my head yeah have you ever gotten any critics in your animations and can you tell definitely. us how you do that definitely like let's say if I have a client and he asks me to do something definitely sometimes um, you and your client's views might not like like mm. match up, so they will like criticize some things and ask me to change some things. But I don't take it. What well, how I handle it is I don't take it personally at all. Like one person okay. and another person can't always be the same, so I don't take it personally. And okay. if I something I can change, I will change. It. But I don't take okay. it. Okay. I I appreciate constructive criticism. Okay, so we'll be playing some of your videos. There's this particular one that interests me. That one you said she was working on stage and all that. We'll be playing yeah. it right now. And you would, you would walk okay. us through the journey and what actually incites you to make that kind of animation. Okay. Then, okay, this animation was like a dream. The character was dreaming. She has dreams to be a dancer. 
the yeah, everything she's looking, I don't know what to call her now. She's an insect, actually. First of all, she was looking like Tinkerbell. Then I had to see the long ear. I she's supposed to be an elf, like an elf character. You know all those elves okay. they usually have like long ears. Yes. Mm. So she's because she's a dancer, but like she doesn't have the she doesn't have the opportunity to actually like um be a dancer. So that was just her dream. That's like her just like wishing okay. that this was her. And then she was now performing on a stage in front of a crowd. But that was just all a dream and eventually she grew up. So that was that's the whole story behind that short animation. Oh, okay. So we'll play the second video. I actually I actually have two that interests me. So we'll play the second okay. video. This one looks like what's the name of that game again? Tempo Run. It has a runway and oh, the animations oh, okay. was beside it. So we'll be playing the video right now. Then you can talk us through it. The whole idea okay. behind it. I don't know if I'm even giving you a hint though. So, Juanita, walk us through your idea for that particular animation. I was waiting to see that, um, Tempo Run run through the walkway. Okay. That particular animation is it's, um, it's a combination of a real-life place. That, is, that place okay. is a park. And then an uncombined life. 3D characters into it, so like it's real life combined. With oh. it. That was the whole idea behind it. I wanted, I wanted to start like incorporating, like I wanted a situation where I can bring like a place and put in the things I want, and like make a video out of it. So basically, all those puppets were not in the park, obviously. So I now captured the park, the walkway, and then I now added those things. And the shadows onto it, so it's really like as if they were actually there together. That's one thing I'm trying to venture into now, combining two D and three D. So that was the idea. All right, you know, I I I I totally <coughs> love this this passion and this line of career. It's it's different. It's it's mm. outstanding especially for a lady to look up to and i'll give you a thumbs up for how far you've gone and i also wish you well for how far you also want to reach okay so thanks thank for joining so us much. on set today and have a you're lovely welcome. remaining thank you for having me you're welcome. you're welcome bye bye okay so i'm sure you enjoyed that and i show you i'm sure you wanted more but of course we don't have so much time so we'll be going on a short break and we'll be recommending some interesting movies for you this weekend. So stay tuned. <laughs>